I'm always interested too in game day routines. You just mentioned you like to go for a run on, um, uh, let's assume you're playing on a Saturday, you like to go for a run in the morning. Do you have any other certain routines that you have to go through pre-game um, that you really stick to? Yeah, so like probably just um, on that, that same line or, or, or that same topic with what Craig McRae does with his meditation. So um, my, my pre-game routine is that uh, I'll get to the game uh, probably about two and a half hours before and I like to just go down and write on my whiteboard and so that's organised. We'll have a staff meeting uh, about an hour and 45 minutes before game time. The players will start to arrive around about an hour and a half before game time, no later than an hour and a half. They can arrive earlier if they want to, but an hour yep. and a half. We'll have our team meeting uh, at an hour and 15 before game time and then we're straight into line meetings after that and my team meeting will go for maximum 10 minutes and really during that time uh I'm essentially my my mantra is to try and make the players feel safe on game day and it's less about the football and the the tactics and what's going to happen or or, or could happen but more about like just just regulating their emotions um and so the running process that I've done prior to me getting to the game is helpful for me to then be able to be regulated myself to then regulate their emotions. There's actually a really good study that they did on college footballers, I believe, where they um, tracked them for 12 or 24 months. And I'll have to find the study and pass it over to you. But uh, essentially after that 12 or 24 months, they they sort of uh, asked the players, you know, periodically throughout, throughout their games, um, what did the coach say at halftime? So what can you retain in terms of the content? Mm. And then how did the coach feel at halftime? And at the end of the study, there was something ridiculous, like a 27% retention on the actual content. Okay, so yep. here's what we need you to fix. Here's what we need you to do. Here's how we need you to go out and play the game in the second half. But there was a 95% retention on how they thought the coach felt at the time. Mm. You know, so um, I digress a little bit, but that's why I, I focus so much in the, in the pre-game on making the players feel safe because... Uh, at that point in time, what I say is probably irrelevant to how they're going to feel. Um, after my pre pre game meeting, the the coaches, uh, the line coaches, will take them for a line meeting, as I sort of mentioned, and then I basically disappear for half an hour. So I've got a a friend of mine who comes and works with me on game day. His name's Chris Doria, and essentially we work on um, alignment and, and centerings similar to what Craig McRae does with his meditation. I have a, a friend who comes along and it's um, and it's basically we go away in, into a private space and we do some pretty different stuff and, and it's sort of uh, energy transfer and, yeah, essentially just trying to get myself centred and aligned and into a place where uh, I'm feeling safe as well and, and regulated and therefore I can sort of carry that approach into the game and, Again, talking about evolving, this isn't something that I've always done. I've met Chris um, only this year, and it's something yep. that I've really embraced and brought in as part of my practice uh, and my routine on on game day coaching. And so far, it's it's really working, not just in me being a better coach on game day, but I just feel holistically, like even outside of the coaching realm, that um, by doing this work and, and having self-awareness of how I'm feeling, I'm probably a better person to be around I'm a better husband I'm a better father um because I'm tipping time and energy into you know how I'm feeling and and what I'm doing for my own self-care 